Hi, I'm Andrea from Mafra, and today we'll discover together Maniac, the new line for you, real car care maniacs. Iron Remover removes any type of contamination from rims, car body, and window panes. Let's check out together its characteristics and how it works. Two-in-one concentrated product that can be diluted one-to-one, -one, cleans and decontaminates, acid-free neutral pH formula. There are different types of contamination. In general, they can be defined as everything we cannot remove with the normal cleanser. They are not often visible at a first glance, yet it can be on rims, car bodies, and window panes. So how do we recognize it? On rims, it is easier. Everything that remains after thorough cleaning with a specific product, those little black or dark brown spots, maybe in cracks or between spokes, that is contamination. Has this ever happened to you? On the car body, it might be more complicated. Sometimes it is visible. For example, on a white car, after thorough cleaning, the car still remains dull. The color is matte or even some real little dark brown spots on the car body are visible. Sometimes instead, contamination cannot be visible. But let's do a test to track it down. Get yourself a disposable glove that you may find at a gas station or that we use at the supermarket. Put it on and let's caress the surface of the car body. We feel a rough surface to touch. That's the contamination we need to remove with our product. My advice is to use iron remover when the car body looks dull, matte, or when we feel these little spots to touch. Let's see together how it works. For a better result, you need a paintbrush or a brush depending on the surface to treat. Let's see together how to use it on rims. Always in the shade and after making sure that the surface is cold, you can dispense the product pure when extreme contamination is present. Or you can dilute it up to one to one, so one part of water and one part of product for a maintenance decontaminating action. Once every three washes, for example. Leave the product on for a few minutes without ever letting it dry on the surface. You see, the rims begin to color. The active ingredient melts iron contamination and becomes purplish. Also, the strong smell of sulfur is typical for this type of product. Being able to mask it while making it more pleasant has been the key to success. Help yourself with a paintbrush or a soft bristle brush and make sure to remove dirt in depth, even between the spokes and in the most hard to reach cracks. Finally, we can rinse with plenty of water. Its acid-free neutral pH formula is safe and effective even on the most delicate surfaces. Therefore, we can use it easily on every type of rim, steel, aluminum, light alloys, but also on painted, chromed, or polished rims. The product also has an extraordinary cleansing action, a real two-in-one. It cleans and decontaminates. Let's see together how to use it on the car body. After washing and drying the car, always in the shade and never on a hot surface, let's dispense the pure product evenly at a distance of about 40 centimeters, 15.75 inches. Leave it on for three to five minutes. We'll see it in action, melting and purifying the treated surfaces in depth. After thoroughly rinsing with a plentiful jet of water, the car will have a brand new look. Trust me. All surfaces will be smooth to touch and look brighter and with vivid colors. Plus, if you want to apply a protective coating, decontamination is a process with no ifs, ands, or buts, as it promotes adherence and long-lasting duration. So these are the characteristics of iron remover. What are the differences between a common iron remover on the market and this product? Speed of action, safety of use on every type of rim, and pleasant fragrance. Here the challenge was to cover the smell of sulfur, which is typically very pungent in these products. When do I have to use iron remover and when a dedicated cleaner for cleaning rims? Our advice is to use wheel and tire cleaner at every wash, iron remover once every three washes. In fact, unlike dirt, iron contamination deposits and becomes stratified over time, making the surface gloss go off. If you combine the cleansing action of wheel and tire cleaner with the decontaminating action of iron remover, you will remove dirt and contamination cost-effectively. I also remind you that decontamination must always be carried out before applying a wax or a protective coating, as it promotes the adherence. Finally, some tips. 
As I told you, make sure to use the product always in the shade and never on a hot surface. Leave it on a few minutes. The tracer will help you feel the action of the product. When it switches from colorless to dark purple, it's time to rinse with a plentiful jet of water. We've worked a lot to weaken the typical very pungent smell of sulfur, a result of chemical action of the product, but use it outdoors in a well-ventilated area. Do not use it on unpainted brake calipers. The active ingredient acts on the iron, and the cast iron brake calipers are a real iron and steel alloy. If they turn black, rinse immediately and don't worry. Nothing that a simple polish cannot solve. I suggest that you do not dilute the product more than one to one. Therefore, one part of product and one part of water for maintenance cleaning. Thanks for watching us. Keep on following us on our social media channels for more videos and tips. Cheers from Andrea.